give a baby a breast fed or the mother yani give the baby a breast fed in the early morning definitely it will be variable compared to the night or the evening feeding in the early morning the component of the fat is less than the midday or night in midday the component of fat is very high 2.4 fold that in the early morning or night maniha in the early morning and in the late night the breast milk is less a component of fat I variation with each feet i mean with each feet with each with each session of feet us da for milk da this is the fairest milk during the session I, as you see it is whitish in its color and the component of the milk is water rather than fat akinno bishrab kida al awwal qabl ma yirta da al for milk when it comes to the end of the session what is called hind milk hind milk as you see it's creamy and it is uh, in the color it is yani uh, yellowish somehow in its color because it contains three fold milk compared to four milk probably what is the aim the hind milk the, the late stage of the session if it is containing high fold of milk like uh, of uh, fat like this three fold this means it will provide satiety and uh, achieve the satiety of the baby and help him to relax and uh, sleep after this feed okay right variation according to gestational age if the baby is born premature definitely the milk component for him will be changeable it contains more protein more mineral contents to help him to catch up the growth and um, uh, achieve the maturation واضح يا شباب واضح واضح استرم احنا قلنا ان ده السكريتد ديورينج ذا فيرست فيو دايز five few days after delivery actually it's very important and it's important as well to explain to the mother the importance of this colostrum because a lot of mothers don't recognize it and they feel that it is not a, a real milk so i will not give it to my baby actually it's crucial and it's important for the maturation and for the immunization of the baby and we consider it like the first immunization the baby receives ever it contains high level of iga secretory iga which is protein and antibodies provide in passive immunity to the baby also it is rich in cholesterol and macro minerals like sodium and potassium rich in micro minerals and vitamin a all of this help the maturation and the immunity of the baby rich in macrophages and lymphocytes and antibacterial factors again it will help the maturation and the immunization of the baby كمان هي rich zinc component طب الزنك ده بيعمل ايه بيعمل maturation للgut of the baby and can help this baby to um, start relay load low sodium content ليه كل ده يبقى low because this will protect the baby low phosphate will protect against hypocalcemic convulsion. Low sodium will protect against hypernatremia and what we call sudden infant death syndrome. كمان لما يكون الفيتامينز والمينرالز موجودين low amount this will make low load على الكيدني ودي حاجة من الحاجات الحلوة جدا compared to formula fed. Formula fed في فيتامينز ومينرالز كتير قوي وده بيبقى بصراحة load over the kidney. The main low risk of iron deficiency anemia during the first six months because um, we have iron and we have what we help what will help to absorb this iron, like vitamin C and vitamin E and copper. حاجة مهمة جدا بقى ال anti-infective properties in the breast milk. Breast milk consider like uh, immunization for the baby. The colostrum will breast milk itself because it contains secretory IgA up to 90% of immunoglobulin in human milk, IgA, and this provides mucosal protection. We can lysozyme, 
ده بيعمل لك بكتيريو لاتيك انزايم بيهلب اجينست ماني انفكشن لاكتوفيرين لاكتوفيرين ده بيعمل كارينج للارن and it inhibits the growth of E. coli as well. Interferon antiviral agents, كل ده, protect against viral infection. We have what is called bifidus factors. Bifidus factors D promote the growth of lactobacilli, and this lactobacilli will um, يعني, act on lactose to lactic acid and prevent the growth of many gastrointestinal pathogens. One D, humoral act of the breast milk To protect the baby against many diseases. في كمان cellular act the breast milk ده contain حاجات كتير like the macrophages, the lymphocytes, the B cells. كل ده جاي من the mother. Macrophages of the mother, lymphocytes of the mother, B cells of the mother, and it helps the baby to um, maximize its immune status or immune status and provide him against many diseases as well. Again. The component of the breast milk. Let's go study it in the slide. Two. Right. To encourage all the mother to breastfeed, the WHO did ten steps to successful breastfeeding. Ihoma. One, have a red and breastfed policy that is routinely communicated to all healthcare staff. Train all healthcare staff about the necessary skills to implement this policy. Okay. مهم جدا to inform all the pregnant women about the benefits and management of breastfeeding. The benefits, we يعني try to introduce the benefits from what is interesting to the mother. Like you will lose your your weight when you breastfeed. Uh, it it's like so, um, it will promote the love relationship between you and between your baby. الحاجات دي مدخل كويس للأم to uh, convince her about breastfeeding. Help mother to initiate breastfeeding within half an hour of birth. دي مهمة جدا. Please underline. We should initiate breastfeeding as early as possible within half an hour. Why? Because all the reflexes we mentioned, either the maternal reflex or the baby reflex, are high in the sky. So we should um, get the benefit from this high reflexes in initiating breastfeeding. كمان ال scan to scan contact is high لما تقرب البيبي من الأم ال scan to scan contact بيبقى high ال emotions بيبقى high reflexes high I can benefit from all of this and get يعني uh, uh, copious secretion of breast milk during this golden hour we should uh, uh, teach the mother how to breastfeed, how to maintain lactation even if they are separated from their infants during work or during travel or whatever. Uh, we should give newborn infants no feed or drink except for breast milk for the first six months or at least for the first four months. وده مهم جدا لحديلو عصاير ولا herbal drink ولا even water just We lay on the breast milk totally for the first six months. If other school, ممكن تخليها four months. It's okay. Practice rooming in, allow mothers and infants to remain together for 24 hours a day. Um, um, يعني the baby to be sleep in the same room, not in the same bed. Right. Encourage breastfeeding on demand. Breastfeeding. Not by time or by schedule, like formula feeding. لا, on demand. Whenever the baby needs breastfeeding, please give him. Give no artificial dates or pacifier. This is important. Foster the establishment of breastfeeding support groups and refer mothers to them. مهم جدا يكون وفي حاجات كتيرة دلوقتي موجودة اللي هي uh, uh, friend, uh, uh, sorry, uh, hospital friend mother and babies. دول بيبقى عندهم like groups to support the mother. And teach them how to breastfeed, how to maintain breastfeed. تمام؟ معايا ولا نمتو؟ لا معاكي معاكي دكتور. معاكي دكتورة. طيب معلش أنا هحط له وهبعت لينك جديد تدخلوا عليه عشان تمام. إيه واضح دكتورة. 
طيب بس to sum up احنا اتكلمنا لغاية دلوقتي عن ال benefits of breastfeeding اتكلمنا عن composition of breast milk reflexes regulation of breastfeeding ال WHO 10 steps how to promote breastfeeding how about to teach the mother or what to teach the mother about breastfeeding اول حاجة دي يا واحدة معلش Well, the first thing is how to carry her baby. طيب. The baby should be carried like, as you see. In yikun, tummy to tummy, the tummy of the baby to the tummy to the mother, and the ear and shoulder and hip align together. So, all of this should be like this. Bimana, the head of the baby should be like, in the same line with the hip, not uh, to the back or not to the front. But we have another method uh, how to carry the baby. We can teach it to the mother as well, which is called foot pull or clutch. Foot pull, as you see here, the head of the baby is at the side, the breast, and his trunk at the back of the mother, but also tummy to tummy. In figure of this foot pull or clutch, sometimes uh, it's helpful for twins when the mother breastfed two babies. So it will help. And there is a lot of pillows in the market which help this method of uh, catching or carrying the baby. Another thing, sometimes the baby prefer uh, yeah, a specific side. He wants to take feet from the right side all the time or from the left side all the time. So this will help to track the baby. Masalan, this time I will, oh, the mother will give the baby from the right side. When it comes to the left side, She will carry him by the same way, so he will feel as if he still on the right side. Why I guess? Clear? Mm. Yes, clear. Okay. Right. Criteria of good attachment. The baby should suck both the nipple and the areola. So I have criteria I should tell to the mother. That means he is making good suckling, which is baby's chin touching the breast, as you see. The baby's mouth is widely open, and the lower lip, sorry, the lower lip is turned outward. More areola tissue above than below the mouth. If uh, we look at the mother and the baby from the side, we will see more areola above than below. And no pain for the mother while breastfeeding. It's important to tell the mother this information. Whenever you feel pain, this means the baby is not uh, making this good attachment and is not suckling well. The slide A, this is correct latch or correct suckling. The baby suck both the areola and the nibble. A lower lip is turned outward. Uh, outward, more areola above than below, and mouth widely opened, and chin touching the breast of the mother. This is correct lactation. Coming to the B picture, here, as you see, the baby is sucking the nibble only, not the areola. And the mouth is not widely open, the lip is not turned outward, so he is not sucking well. And definitely, the mother will suffer from pain at this uh, point. Uh, the gets for slide show. كذا مرة يا جماعة فممكن برضو ايه تهتموا بيها في common difficulties during breastfeeding all of them are in common of what a solution a solution on, yeah, advise the mother to maintain breastfeeding and correct any uh, abnormal or incorrect suckling incorrect catching of the baby and everything will be okay So, maintaining breastfeeding will improve the problem the mother will face during her breastfeed. They e, how will hagel breast engorgement? Here, the breasts are swollen and edematous. The skin looks shiny and diffusely red. His breasts are weak and engorged. Why? Because There is failure to remove breast milk, especially during the first few days after delivery. The mother doesn't know how to breastfeed her baby, so the breast milk accumulates and makes the breast edematous and heavy, and the, 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 the um, nipples, as, as a result, becomes flat. The baby 
cannot even attach to the this flat nipple and cannot take milk. It's a solution, but it's very painful for the mother. And at the same time, the baby doesn't get what he needs. To remove this accumulated breast milk, how? Try to make it naturally by the baby. Try to help the baby to attach well and suck and remove this accumulated breast milk. If not succeed, what will happen? We will ask the mother to apply warm comp compresses over the breast or to take a warm shower. This will help to uh, breast milk to flow. And then try to suck the milk accumulated inside the breast manually by the breast pump or by her hand. And then make cold compress after this suckling to reduce edema. That's why I'm evacuation the breast milk. It will make it uh, lighter and help the baby to attach to this breast later on. Like a golden advice, don't let the breast milk to accumulate again like this. علشان هتكرر ثاني البروبلم. Another problem which is called mastitis. Here there is hard swelling in the breast. المرة دي is localized. المرة اللي فاتت في breast engorgement it was diffuse in both breasts. Like in here, hard swelling in the breast with redness over lying the skin and severe pain again. Why? Again, accumulation of the breast milk, but here at a local site. Mastitis common to occur during the first two to three weeks after delivery. And the important and the direct cause accumulation of breast milk because of long gaps between feet. And the mother also doesn't uh, start the breastfeeding immediately after delivery. So there is accumulation. Is a, what, till now, it's okay, and it is a trial, this milk. But if you don't treat it immediately, what will happen? This mastitis may be breast abscess, may be over-adding bacterial infection, and it will be converted from just simple mastitis to breast abscess, which is very painful and very dangerous for the mother. To treat the mastitis early by Again, improve the removal of the man. Try to make it by the baby. If not, I will ask the mother to try to remove the accumulated breast milk. Sorry. بيقطع؟ لا الحين كويس. طيب تاني أهم حاجة الجولدن أدفايز نوت تو ستوب بريست فيدنج دي مهمة جدا لأن هي لو عملت ستوب للبريست فيدنج يبقى هي بتإكساجيريت ذا بروبلم. I will give the mother analgesia. I will give her uh, penicillin resistance antibiotic like flocloxacillin. This will help to prevent conversion of this mastitis into breast abscess. Pardon. A breast abscess already has happened. I have to evacuate it. I will ask the mother to take antibiotic, but actually it will be surgical treatment by doing um, guided by ultrasound and it will be uh, done through a small incision, catheter through in incision and drain this breast abscess. هل أقدر أعمله بالنيدل أو الكاستر؟ ممكن. حيب أسعيتها guided by ultrasound but it's not successful compared to the drainage by incision. أهم حاجة في الانسجن إن هي تكون small incision to protect the duct of the breast. And the mother can continue breastfeeding from the other side and even from the side affected although it will be painful somehow. أهم golden advice never to let the affected side in the breast milk keep accumulated thin, try to evacuate it. And you can start again receiving from the affected sides within your duration, two to three days. Mishi? Tabain?
طيب الزور or fissured nipple it's a common problem and it's one of the common causes that many mothers stop lactation because it's painful very painful اللي بيحصل ان البيبي he is not uh, making good attachment بالكريتيريا اللي قلنا عليها فاللي بيحصل ان في pressure all the time على ال nipple rather than sucking the nipple and area this pressure will make fissured and sword nipple to the extent sometimes it causes bleeding from this nipple very painful so how to help the mother again ask her to maintain breastfeeding although this pain i mean but try to help her how to make good attachment by this baby you should teach her that baby should suck in um, areola and nipple both together by time When the attachment is improving, this pain will improve. لكن مش هقدر أسيب المظهر يعني أتألم كل ده. Till the the baby learn how to make good attachment. الحل إن أنا I will give her like creams containing lanolin, which will help to heal this sore nipple and this feature nipple. Be many products in the market can help. Right. Another thing, حاجة اسمها nipple chill. It will be uh, put over the affected nipple, decrease the sensation شويه of the pain while feeding the baby and maintain feeding. صراحة ال nipple shield عليها دراسات في ناس against ناس uh, with. لكن like anyhow, what is proved and what is very effective هو ال creams. مش شرط طبعا ال product ده في حاجات تانية كتير. حاجة تانية ممكن الأم تقول لك uh, there is insufficient milk I feel my baby is not um, taking sufficient amount of milk anyhow I should respect any complaint from the mother but at the same time I should analyze it is it true or not true I will ask the mother why you say this دائما ال complain because the baby crying a lot and seeming not to be satisfied with it We want to feed very often for a long time each feed more than 15 minutes. And I, I feel uh, our, the mother claim يعني, in her breast soft and she cannot express her milk. All these symptoms, okay, I will respect it. But actually, it is not the um, correct or the accurate Signs that the baby is not getting sufficient amount of milk. What is the accurate sign? Better in poor weight gain, low urine output, and the third one, which is hunger stools. Okay, type the poor weight gain with low urine output with hunger stools. I can relay on them if the baby taking sufficient amount or not. And show us that the poor weight gain. We talked about it before. I remember the genders, but I remember. افترض soon after birth the baby will lose some weight for a few days and he will recover to their birth weight by the end of first week and start to gain weight starting from the two weeks of age قلنا الكلام ده قبل كده صح؟ خدتوه كمان في محاضرة development بمعنى لو بيبي فلنفرض هقول الاكزامبل تاني عشان افكركم بيبي مولود 3 weeks خلاص بعد كام يوم الاقي لا ده بقى اتنين ونص ولا حاجه مش مشكله او اتنين سبعمية مش اشكال ده عادي وطبيعي يبتدي يرجع للبيرست ويت بتاعه يرجع تلاتة تاني تقريبا عند الفيرست ويك او عشر ايام يبتدي بقى يو جين ويت واقدر اقيمه هو بي جين ويت بروبرلي اور نوت ستارتنج فروم ذا سكند ويك اوف لايف كلير؟ كلير طيب المفروض يو جين قد ايه؟ By months, around 500 gram to 1 kilogram. وطبعا ليها جدول وليها ده كده roughly or generally speaking. انتوا خدتوا في المحاضرة ال development ليها يعني جدول معين غير كده يعني. لكن generally speaking هو ده 500 to 1 kilo. واشوف ال curve بتاعه هو بيكبر ولا لا. هقيس الولد ده بيكبر ولا لا. والله لو بيكبر خلاص انت بس تهيئت. You already take sufficient amount of milk. طيب ايه كمان؟ low urine output مفترض if the baby is taking sufficient amount of milk 
exclusive breastfed, he should pass his dilute urine six to eight times within four hours. If the baby passing urine less than this, and if the mother describes the dark spot, we dark spot دحنا كلمنا عنها مبارح. إحنا قلنا إنها urate crystals. The, the, the urine is concentrated because the baby is dehydrated. He is not taking sufficient amount and not passing sufficient amount of urine. Again, this is another reliable sign that the baby is not taking sufficient amount. حاجة كمان اسمها الهنجر stools. مفترض ال stools بتاعت البيبي بعد الميكونيوم بتتحول ل soft stool بتبقى ال color بتاعها mustard yellow كده أو golden yellow. CD You feel it like there is seeds inside it. This is the criteria of stools for a baby taking sufficient amount of milk. If not, هيحصل حاجة اسمها hunger stools. تقول لي إن البيبي ده جعين. The stools يبقى green, مش soft, يبقى hard, rounded. ما هوش ال toes past كده ال consistency. ما فيش ال seeds اللي بقولك عليها دي. So he is hungry. This baby is hungry. And he passed this hunger stool. تمام كده؟ يبقى أنت to convince the mother your baby is taking sufficient amount or not, you will discuss with her these three points. Weight gain, urine output, and hunger stool. إيه اللي يخلي reasons why a baby may not get enough breast milk؟ ممكن breastfeeding factors. Delay in the start. The mother didn't start her breastfeed within First half an hour. Feeding at fixed time. When all night breastfeed should be on demand. Infrequent feeds. No night feeds. The mother is not going Short feeds. Poor attachment. Bottle or pacifiers. The bottle or pacifiers or will water or will herbal tea. All of these things will consider it like empty calories. So what all the night is going to be on the ground. It herbal tea on the ground. بياخد water على الفاضي عشان كده exclusive breastfeeding is important during the first six months. ممكن المذر نفسها psychological factors from the mother like lack of confidence, depression, stress, dislike of breastfeeding, she is not interested, rejection of the baby, or physical condition, the mother using contraceptive pills or diuretics, she, she got pregnant and she is not aware, severe malnutrition, alcohol, Smoking. ممكن يكون في pituitary failure or poor breast development. وده very rare زي ما انت شايف. ده يعني الحاجات ال pituitary failure وال poor breast feeding كمان very rare. Uh, poor breast development. ما هواش خالص سبب ان يحصل uh, insufficient amount of breast milk. طيب ال baby's condition ممكن هو نفسه he is not taking sufficient amount because of illness or abnormal. واحدة من ال common problem during breastfeeding the mother should resume her work after the maternity vacation ends. What will happen? She can maintain her breastfeed. إزاي بقى؟ Breastfeed her baby whenever she is at home. Night and at weekend and when she returns back from the home. طيب. Sleep with her baby she, so she can breastfeed at night and in early morning. Express milk in the morning before she leaves for work. And this is important. She will leave this expressed milk for the caretaker. She, uh, and the caretaker will give for her baby while she is at home. Uh, at work, sorry. I come in. Try to give breastfeeding before she goes to work. I come in. While she is at work, she should express her milk to keep up the supply. إحنا قلنا لو إحنا سبنا long gap what will happen? Inhibitory peptide will accumulate. So I will advise the mother please while you are at work during your break try to express the milk and okay you can refrigerate it or you can even withdraw it it doesn't matter. أهم حاجة and not to leave the breast milk to accumulate uh, uh, while you're working hours. مفهوم يا جماعة <تصفيق> كل الاكسبرس ملك ده بقى اللي هي سابته قبل ما تمشي او اللي هي جمعته during work what will happen she can keep it in what is called breast bag and keep it 
باي ماني واي بريزيرف ات باي ماني واي ممكن ان ذا روم تمبريتشر اب تو 3 تو 4 اورز تخيل فهي ممكن قبل ما تنزل تو اكسبريس هير بريست اند ليف ذا بريست ميلك اكسبريست فور اب تو 3 تو 4 اورز مهم تعرف الوقت قوي ماشي 3 تو 4 اورز او ممكن تحطه في انسوليتد كولر باك ات وورك ممكن وهي في الورك اب تو 24 اورز ات ويل بي يعني اوكي تو يوز اب تو 24 اورز او ممكن تحطه في البريست ملك باك ديت اند ريفريجريتد ان ذا ريفريجريتور اب تو 72 اورز اوكي ممكن كمان تحطه في الفريزر كومبارتمنت اب تو 2 ويكس او في الفريزر اب تو 6 مانث تخيل فهو سهل جدا انها to express milk preserve it by all these means provided ان هي كاتبه على كل breast milk bag the time she express the breast milk عشان بعد المده دي المفروض to withdraw this milk طيب طلعته من الفريزر او الكير تيكر يعني طلعته من الريفريجريتور او الفريزر او الفريزر كومبارتمنت she should طبعا warm up it how to warm up never in مايكروويف مول هتعمله في زي حمام مائي كده تجيب uh, hot water and leave it in this hot water till to become warm and can give to the baby how to express ممكن manually ممكن by uh, the help of some pumps present in the market يعني حاجات دي كلها ممكن okay any questions so far طيب alternative to breastfeeding هو الفورمula feeding ما تكتبش formula feeding unless there is indication to prescribe it مش on demand مش عشان المدر عايزة معلش لا هي الفكرة في uh, indication or no the, one of the indication بعد الشوار يعني death of the mother أو في nurseries محضنات أو in institutes ممكن أو يكون في absolute contraindication to breastfeeding like galactosemia or other type of important error of metabolism. At this time, I cannot give breast milk for this baby. I should give him special formula, كمان مش أي formula, for this important error of metabolism. كمان الماترنال إيدز. الماترنال إيدز ده على الديبيت كتير. في شوية كريتيريا كده ممكن حتى الأم وهي عندها إيدز تردى. لكن anyhow, We will consider it a contraindication for breastfeeding. A command failure of lactation. The mother, فعلاً قدامك, there is a lot of trials to breastfeed, but there is no or very little milk. And you should be sure about this. أو ممكن يكون supplemental feeding. The mother gave both breast milk and formula. When she is um, a, a, a working mother, And she tried the, to express her milk and it doesn't work. That بيحصل صراحة كتير. Okay? Or uh, she, she gave breastfed for multiple delivery. Twins بقى أو أكتر من baby. But at this time, she can uh, get help from formula feeding. Formula feeding, طبعا, a lot of side effects. Gas, constipation, upset stomach. Uh, طبعا, هي, all the time, it is the same. It is fixed regarding... The components regarding the flavor. I mean, if you make a comparison between breast milk and formula fed, طبعاً, the comparison هتبقى, uh, for the flavor or for uh, the best of breast milk. Clostrum, there is no clostrum in the formula fed. Like in with breast milk, by all its benefits, it is present. Antibodies, it is not present in the formula. It is present in clostrum, in high level, كمان. and in subsequent milk, زي ما قلنا. The protein, هنا oh although it is lower in quantity but the quality أحسن في البريست ميلك الفورمولا اه oh, طبعا ماشي هو فيه high level of protein even higher than the breast milk لكن of low quality sorry يعني ده جاي من animals ماشي طيب الكربوهيدرات higher in lactose لكن هنا ممكن يبقى جاي من الجلوكوز والجلوكوز مش كويس إن أنا أديه young age Fatty acid, human fatty acid. Like in here, alternative. It's not human fatty acid, so formula. يعني, so it's not good quality. The vitamins and minerals. 
Actually, it's low in breast milk, لكن it's of uh, easy to absorb. The formula is higher, but hard to absorb, and it makes burden on the kidney. حاجة مهمة بس عايزة أقولها في ال breast milk هو deficient شوية في ال vitamin K وال vitamin D. We are reading the notes دي. في ال vitamin K وفي ال vitamin D. That is why I will give supplement for breast uh, fed baby of for vitamin K and vitamin D. ماشي؟ طيب. عشان كده هو عشان يبيع الفورمولا فات بيكتب لك غني بالمعادن والبروتينات والمعرفش ايه. جميل جدا بس هل البيبي هيعرف يستفيد بكل الحاجات اللي انت بتقول عليها دي؟ لا. Actually بصراحة لا هيعرف يستفيد بالبروتين ده لأنه very hard to digest it to absorb it ولا هيعرف يستفيد بالفيتامينز والمينرالز. انت حاططها عشان تبيع لكن actually البيبي will not get any benefit from it. تمام؟ السلايد دي again comparison between human milk, cow milk, and formula milk. How to feed بقى خلاص انت already مضطر تكتب تحسب كمية ال water اللي انا محتاجاها all over the day for this baby. It is like this 150 ملي formula per kg per day. Suppose إن البيبي مثلا وزنه اتنين كيلو صغنطوط خالص يبقى هو محتاج في اليوم كله قد إيه؟ مية وخمسين في اتنين محتاج تلتميت ملي تلتميت ملي دول هوزعهم على ست أو تمن رضعات يبقى هقسم التلتمية على ستة أو تمن خلينا نقول على ستة يبقى هيبقى في كل رضعة هياخد خمسين ملي ليه ستة يا جماعة أو تمانية؟ عشان الفورملا فات بتاعتها تقريبا كل أربع أو ثلاث آه ساعات فكده هيتعاطى ست أو ثمان مرات في اليوم تابعين الحتة دي واصلة ولا لأ؟ تاني أنا هحسب الكمية كلها طيب هحاول كده أجيب إيه؟ ستوب شير مية وخمسين في اليوم كله هو محتاج مية وخمسين بركي جي في اليوم كله تمام بركي جي طيب لو افترضنا ان هو وزنه اتنين كيلو يبقى مية وخمسين في كام يا جماعة في اتنين تطلع كام ثلاثمية هو محتاج تلتمية ملي في اليوم كله طب أوزعهم إزاي 300 ملي على اليوم؟ أنا عندي خيارين ممكن أدي رضعة كل ثلاث ساعات أو رضعة كل أربع ساعات طب هو اليوم فيه كم ثلاث ساعات وكم أربع ساعات؟ اقسم بقى أربعة وعشرين على ثلاثة يبقى كده هتدي ثمان مرات لو هتدي كل ثلاث ساعات يبقى هتدي ثمان مرات في اليوم ولو هتدي كل أربع ساعات يبقى أربعة وعشرين على أربعة فيها ستة يبقى هتدي ست مرات في اليوم، اني هاو عشان ما الخماكش بالحسابات وانا عارفه ان انتوا ايه صايمين، انت في الاخر قرار هتدي كل ثلاث ساعات او كل اربع ساعات، يعني هتدي حوالي ثمان رضعات في اليوم او ست رضعات في اليوم، يبقى ال 300 دول 300 سم دول هيتقسموا بقى فلنفرض ان انت اخترت ان انت او الام اسهل لها تدي ست رضعات في اليوم، يبقى هتدي ايه بقى؟ 300 على 6 فيها 50 ملي يعني في كل رضعه من الست رضعات دي البيبي هياخد 50 ملي واضح كده؟ مش واضح؟ واضح واضح طيب فلنفرض ان انت الام لا انا عايزه ادي كل حد 8 رضعات يبقى ال 300 دي هقسمهم على 8 رضعات واللي يطلع بقى خلاص كده انا حسبت الكميه بتاعه الميه اللي موجوده في كل رضعه ماشي يا شباب تمام المعمل يا دكتور نعم نقسم المجموع المجموع الكميه على عدد الرضعات ولا ايش السؤال ايوه بالظبط كده الكميه كلها اللي انا اللي البيبي محتاجها ل 300 ملي في اليوم اقسمها على عدد الرضعات بس عشان اعرف كل رضعه هي هتحط ميه قد ايه هتجهز ميه قد ايه فطلع في المثال اللي ضربناه ده حوالي 50 ملي 
ال 50 مللي حط عليهم باودر قد ايه بقى؟ الانستراكشن بتبقى مكتوبه على العلبه لكن مفترض يعني ان كل 30 مللي ميه بحط عليهم زي سكوب من العلبه. طبعا صراحه حاجه مزعجه جدا ان انا اقعد احضر بالشكل دوت واعمل يعني وليه يعني وكمان يا ريته مفيد فده بصراحه مش عارف هي طبعا شركات الالبان بتكسب كتير قوي من ورا المواضيع دي لكن لو غيرنا الثقافه شويه ويعني خلينا ان اولا صعب في التحضير زي ما انتم شفتوا ثانيا برضو في ريسك اوف انفكشن رغم كل الاحتياطات دي ويغلي الميه واعملي ما اعرفش ايه وبتاع لسه في ريسك اوف انفكشن مكلف ماديا انا مش لاقيه له فايده بصراحه حقيقي يعني لكن يو ويل بريسكرايب ات اف ذير از انديكيشن از وي هاف جاست ميتش تمام يا جماعه اي سؤال اي سؤال يا شباب ثانك يو ان شاء الله المحاضره الثانيه بالليل تكونوا متفوقين اكتر شاربين قهوه وشاي وكل الحاجات ان شاء الله Thank you.